What's happening guys? My name is Crazy Single Mean here today for episode 3 of our Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. As you can see, we did a bit of grinding, but before we get into a quick party recap, be sure to smash those thumbs up down below if you guys are hyped for some more Black 2. And let us go ahead and get a quick team recap. All right, so here we have Robin, the level six Azumarill. I didn't get her grinded up too much just because it's so hard. All she has is Bubble. Oh wait, go back up, there we go. Uh, with Splash, Bubble, Tail Whip, and Water Sport. Next we have Basilisk, our starter, uh, level nine, with Tackle, Leer, Vine, Whip. And then we have Meerkat, level eight, with Tackle, Leer, Bite, and the newly learned Bide. And then we have Tweety, level nine, with Gust, Growl, and Leer. So, let us get going. We have ourselves a Herdier to find. Let's go. I do believe we have to go north. I also didn't grind all the way up. Uh, I didn't grind everyone up to level 9 because uh, there are a few trainers up here to battle as well. Uh, we already battled you. Oh, here comes Quattro. Oh, here. I'll share something good with you. We got a Paralyze Heal. All right. That sounds good to me. Yes, we know how to use Paralyze Heals. Still, Pokemon don't just wander off on their own. In a worst case scenario, it might be involved in some trouble. Well, what if it is involved in some trouble and you're just kind of holding me back here? All right, do you want to battle? Yes, you do. All right, get a little bit more Switch training in on Robin because she is she's lacking. Uh, and I did look it up in between episodes. Um, Azumarill evolves with high friendship, which really sucks because I have no idea how long it's going to take to get her um, leveled up that high. Um, but Meryl evolves into Azumarill at 18, so maybe it gets friendship faster or something. Maybe it gets its friendship, like high friendship is, you know, if all goes well before level 18, I'm not really sure how... Uh, how that works, but let's go ahead and switch out here That's not what I meant to do Good job me. We'll go out into Meerkat. He's level 8. Everyone else is level 9. We'll just get a little bit of training on him And excuse me for just one second. I'm gonna make a quick cut and I will be right back And we are back. All right, I just had to close out of something real quick. It was uh, it was making everything go a little slow, but we are all good now. It is Patrat v Petrat. Whoa, that did a lot of damage. All right, uh, come on out, Basilisk. We are not looking to lose Meerkat today. Meerkat is uh, you know, he's he's a bit strong, just a little bit. He is a little bit strong. Let me get that mouse off the screen. I'm sorry about that, guys. I am just a mess today. But when aren't I really? When aren't I really? Come on, take it out or don't. Good job, Basilisk. You're a disappointment. No, you're not a disappointment. I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I did not mean that. Not in the slightest. But that, pu that patch rat put in some work and Robin is level 7. Water Gun, you know what? We are gonna learn Water Gun. We'll get rid of Splash. Why not? We'll just get rid of Splash, because Splash does nothing. Z Splash, on the other hand, that is a wild, wild move. I did not mean to click switch. Z Splash, if you don't know what it does, it raises your attack stat by three stages. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Um, what, there's... I don't think there's an attack like that for any... Uh, I don't think there's a move like that for any attack stat. But I know there is, I think, a uh, Tail Glow? And that up special defense? It might be special attack, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, there's also, like, Cotton Guard. That ups, I think, defense by three stages. But I don't think there's uh, one that raises three attack stats. And Youngster Kenny is gone. Goodbye. Adios. Sayonara. We're going to go down and heal because, uh, you know, he he, uh, he kind of hurt us. Just a little bit. 
just a tinky tad bit. All right, go ahead, heal up, because we still have ourselves a herdier to find. This is taking quite a while, but we'll just blame it on Quattro for stopping us every 2.6 seconds. Uh, you know what, we're actually gonna go up here. Oh, we got a Yarp, uh-oh. Hey, Quattro, did you, he did you hear that just now? Oh, I forgot his voice. I can't do this, oh my goodness. I'll check this area. You go deeper into the grove and look. How about I grab me this item? Got ourselves a potion. That is always good. And it looks like we found ourselves the herdier. Job complete. We win. Game over. That's the, that's the end of the Pokemon game. Black 2 over. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you guys. No, I'm kidding. That, cr that cry. You found it. What a relief. Oh, I'll go call his trainer. You stay here. Whatever. You little pest. I'm a member of a group that strikes fear into the hearts of those who stand before it. Team Plasma. You ever heard of it? I have. I played Black and I played Black One. That's right. We're the righteous group that tried to conquer Unova two years back in order to liberate Pokemon. Whatever. Fools will never understand us. Well it's a good thing I'm not a fool, because I I kinda understand what you what you're saying. It's not a good thing, but I understand. Still. First I got lost chasing Herdier, and now some nosy kid caught me. All of this is your fault. Take this. Hey, you're a terrible person. Take frustration. Okay, sounds good. Whatever. Okay, I'll use this opportunity to retreat for now. He must be using a float stone, because he got free retreat. Alright, and there's Herdier. Perfect. Let me adjust this real quick. I don't think that did anything, but whatever. Yap Boof. Oh, and here comes, uh, here comes Quadro. And, uh, looks like a Pokemon breeder by the, by his, uh, head thing. Herdier! Yeah, I, for, I, I forgot this owner's voice. This, this voice isn't, um, it, it, it's, it's not relevant to the story at all. We'll just skip through this. It's, it's nothing. It's just, hey, cool, you did good. Hmm, I wonder if something happened to him. Okay, let's go home. Cool! Wait. Is there an item up here? Is there a hidden item? Update, no hidden item. Okie doke. So, oh goodness. What is it? It's a Mareep. That would have been so much nicer than an Azuril. That would have been so much nicer than an Azuril. But whatever. Whatever. I'm... Whatever. That's all, that's all I have to say. Uh, we will go... Uh, come on out, Meerkat. Meerkat can do this. I can tell. No, why Thunder Wave? You stupid sheep. You are a bad sheep. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I'm so bad. I'm terrible. Okay, we're just gonna bite this thing. Hope all oh, we get paralyzed, of course. Can you please stop with the, uh, with the whole stalling thing, Meerkat? Please? Okay. We might have to bring in, uh, Basilisk. Never mind. That was plenty of damage. I uh, see, all I had to do was say something about it, and then he does plenty of damage. Alright. There we go. Take out the Mareep. We'll go back and heal from that lady, and then I guess head back to Flosessi Town, I think it was. I think. There they are. Oh, they're in a different place. Will she not heal me anymore? Nope, she won't hear me. Heal me, not hear me. Okay, so I guess we're going to head back to Flosessi Town now. Let us head on back. Uh, did we ever give Quattro the town map? Oh, and there's Alder. Oh, it looks like you've delivered the town map to your friend. Huh. You were only gone a moment, but you and your Pokemon have grown. Why, I could almost mistake you for someone else. Well then, instead of training you, I would like you and your Pokemon to give me a hand. Alrighty then. 
Now, I know there's a hidden item over here. I know there is. This is an X speed. And I think there's an item hidden in the in here. I think... Nope, I was wrong. What's back here? Ooh! Ooh, is there a new area back here? Can we get a new encounter? Is there an item? Wait. No, no item. Why is that there? Why, what is this? What is this place? It looks like we might be able to get an encounter here, like a, uh, when we get a fishing rod or something. Is there an item over here? No, where, why is this place here? There's no items. What is this? Three sharp marks are deeply cut into the rock. That's it, okay. Can we go back there? No. Okay, well, I don't know what this is. I have no idea what this place is. And it didn't pop up as a new area, did it? I don't think so. Let's see what happens when we go back out if it like changes. Nope, it didn't, oh wait, yeah, I guess it did change. Oh well, whatever. Uh, we'll head into this building where Alder went, I guess. Nothing else to do. Oh goodness. Oh, are we going to help train that person, sir? Really, that trainer looks really tough. All right, this trainer may be tough, but you can learn from losing as well. More importantly, haven't I been telling you to just enjoy Pokemon battles? So Cinco, please be their opponent. I'll show, or I'll show you what, what's my cool, whatever. I, I can't speak. Words. Words, words, words. Quote Hamlet. All right, we got school kid Seymour with a pan pour. Seymour with a pan pour. Okie doke. And we send out Rabin. Uh, definitely Basilisk is coming out. It's just an easy, easy kill. It's just a boom! Vine Whip or Leaf Blade or whatever the attack is. Razor Leaf. It's some grass move. It is some grass move. Man, I wish we had Contrary on this thing. But I don't think you can get Contrary in 5th Gen. I think that was just from 6th Gen and on. I don't really know. I don't really know. Oh, man. That would have been nice if it just, boom, one hit. But, oh, we're both level 9. Wow. We're both level 9. That's kind of wild. That is kind of wild. But the Panpour drops anyway. Get some more experience on Robin. Ooh, level 10. Learn Rap. Okay, that sucks. Ooh, Robin is level 8. We're making our way up in the world. We're making our way up. Trying to get happy. Trying to get happy. Okay, thanks for healing me. That's really nice of you, actually. What are you going to have? A pan... A pan sage. No. A pan seer. Pan seer. Yep. I think what it does is, like, I picked snipey. I have grass. So then the other one is water, and then the other one is fire. So that way you got, got every type in, up in here. And you know what? This actually isn't a terrible matchup for Robin. We can get a bunch of experience, hopefully, if this water gun does enough damage. Please... That did not... That did, that did almost zero. It's super effective and that did nothing. That's ridiculous. Come on, Robin. You're killing me. You're really killing me. Scratch is doing way too much. This thing needs to evolve. Robin, you need to you need to start you need to start evolving like right now. It was a critical hit. We're definitely gonna uh, potion up because Robin is getting all of this experience. And if not, she's gonna die. Either way, I wouldn't be sad. <laughs> Cause I mean if I lost Robin at this point, it's not like crazy bad. It is a death, but, you know, you never want death in a Nuzlocke. But still, it's, it's just an Azurel. Boom. Level 10. Watch, it'll be get level 10 off of this. There's 9. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Wow, okay. Just barely level 9, actually. That was a truly rousing battle. 
I could tell that all of the Pokemon were enjoying themselves as well. How about it, Cinco? Pokemon types are very important in battle, aren't they? What? Okay, yeah, water strong against fire. Yep, that's exactly what it was. But listen, when a Pokemon uses a move that matches its type, the move becomes more powerful, a.k.a. Stab. Stab. All right, and he went ahead and healed us, which is great, even though we're, like, heading back to a Pokemon Center anyway. All right, let us keep on keeping on. And we got Mr. Man out here. Mr. Guy. I know this is sudden, but nice to meet you. Now don't say anything. Just take this. I was hoping for, like, a Master Ball, really. We got a metal box. Not a metal box, a metal box. That is a metal box. And people call me Mr. Metal. By the way, do you know a competition called the Metal Rally? Yes, because I... Oh, I'll explain it to you. The Metal Rally is an event that... Okay, we don't care about medals. We're... We got a medal, though. Cool. We got one. First step, metal. We've taken definitely more than one step. I'm just going to speed through this. We are not here to get medals. We're not here to do anything dumb. We're just trying to play the game. No medals involved. Cinco! As for the newly opened Pokemon... <clears throat> This voice is killing me. In a spacious city, I heard a new gym leader has arrived there. You should go and test how strong you've become. Oh man, I can't do all those voice anymore. It's that, that, ooh, woo! Let me make sure he actually did heal us up, cause I think we're gonna go take on a gym. I think, is level nine too low for the first gym? I don't know. We'll test out the waters. We'll check out, um... Oh, wait, this is Flow Sessy Town. We have to go back to Aspersia Town. <sighs> Cinco! <sighs> Come on, Alder. Come on. Just let me go battle people. Excuse me, I forgot to tell you something important. First, take these. We got Orin Berries. Okay, definitely each Pokemon is getting an Orin Berry. Those are orange berries. If you give one of your Pokemon, HP will be restored. Once more, you can give your Pokemon a berry to hold, like this. Okay. Come on, we just want to move on. The very strong Pokemon trainer, but you don't have... Whatever. And then you should take on stronger and stronger trainers. Actually, take on the gym leaders of each city. Okay. Let us head back to Aspersia City or town or something. Aspersha something. Come on, no encounter. Yeah, that's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. Okay, is this Aspersha? Is this even where we're supposed to go? I kind of forgot to look and like listen to what he was saying. But that is always okay. We'll just roam around the region. Oh, yep, I think this is it. <clears throat> I mean, not Alder voice. Woo! I hope he doesn't show up anymore. Oh, looks like we got a trainer's school up in here. And maybe like a, yep, gym in the back. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, we got, oh, I love this guy. Hello, I'm Clyde, the, tra the guide for trainers who challenge Pokemon gyms. Thank you for taking on the gym. Take this to commemorate your debut. We got a freshwater. See, this is why Gen 5 is great. You get a freshwater before every battle. Or every uh, gym battle. Pokemon gyms and facilities. It tests trainers. Pokemon, whatever. Put simply, if you can defeat the gym leader, it means you're a really good trainer. If you run out of Pokemon that can fight during a Pokemon battle, you lose. So having a lot of Pokemon with you might work to your advantage. Alright, and who is this? You must be... No. No. You must be a challenger. Welcome to Aspersia City's Pokemon Gym. I'm Sharon, the gym leader. Hmm, well maybe I'd better say that I just became the gym leader. More importantly, we need to prepare before welcoming you to the gym. We have a challenger, you two. Take your places. If you can defeat these two, then I'll be your opponent. All right, so we've got to take two people on. But let's see if we get uh, absolutely demolished by these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and save because I kind of don't want to lose this lock, episode 3. That would suck. That would really suck. Okay, so we're going to take on this dude right here. Let's see what kind of, let's see what kind of levels he's got because I'm kind of scared. We only got level 9s. 
And we got level 9. We got Youngster Pedro with a Patrat. And his Pokemon are level 9. That means the gym leader's gonna have like 12 or so. That is not good for us. So we'll just go ahead and tackle this thing. Nice and stab, as we just learned from that little girl. Leer? Haha. <laughs> Haha. You think you can leer me? You think you can leer me? Uh, it's not going to do nothing. Uh, leer again? Ah, you're such a jokester. You're such a jokester. All right. Take out this Patrat like it was nothing. Like it was nothing. Got 149 experience. That's crazy. That's a lot of experience. Lillipup as well. Uh, I should have switched out. Uh, I'm definitely switching out. Misplay on my part. Definitely a misplay. So I guess this is like a normal gym because Petrat and Lillipup both normal. I'm assuming. I guess to take the place of uh, L L Lenor Lenora, Lenor, Lenora. Uh, from black and white. Boom. Tackle. That does nothing. Because, whoa, that did, that did seven points of damage. Seven of 32. That's a good chunk. That is a good chunk. But hopefully we take out this little up before it takes us out. That would really be bad if we lost our starter. That would be really bad. I have always loved starter Pokemon. Just, just in general. I love all of the starters, except for a few. I'm not a fan of Oshawa. Uh, what's another one I don't really like all that much? Um, Chespin. I'm really not a fan of Chespin. I really don't like Chespin. I don't like Chespin, Quilladin, or Chestnut. Really, they just, they just don't float my boat. Okay, yeah, definitely going to leave and uh, heal up. Definitely heal up because cause it's free. Think about, like, a Pokemon game where you had to pay to use Nurse Joy. That would be ridiculous. That would kind of be ridiculous. Unless it was, like, something kind of cheap-ish. I mean, if it was, like, a hundred bucks, like, that's not, that's not really anything. But if it was, like, a thousand... To use Nurse Joy every time. I don't know. It'd, it'd definitely make a, an interesting Pokemon game. Definitely an interesting addition to like a Nuzlocke kind of scenario. Alright. Let's make sure we have... All we could buy is potions and balls. So we're just... I guess we're going to get a couple more potions. And a couple more balls. Even though we don't really need balls right now. We will eventually. You know, we could come across an Arceus at some point. Just a random roaming Arceus. I don't think that happens. But... That'd be, that'd be super cool. Even though this is just a regular, uh, regular and not a, uh, randomized game. I love randomized games. I should have randomized this. That would have been super cool. No, I did it this way so I could, like, enjoy this game in its full glory. Because I've never played this game before. Alright, here we go. Last Serena with a Lily Pup. Not a rose dog, a lily pup. It's a, it's a, it's a flower joke. Ha ha, laugh. Ha 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 ha. Okay, we're just gonna tackle this thing. This thing's level nine as well. All right, yeah. Exchanging its tackles. Exchanging tackles. That thing did a quarter of our damage already. And oh, it looks like we did more than a quarter, which is nice. An odor sleuth. That's. What's the point of Odor Sleuth? Why is it a move? I mean, really, why? Okay, here we go to- Oh my god! Woo! I just had a heart attack. Oh my goodness, that HP dropped like that. It just went down. That really scared me, guys. That really scared me. Oh my goodness. That little pup just got a crit and just about took us out. Just about took us out. That, whoa, man. I can understand maybe losing him on to the gym leader, but not his little baby trainers outside. Uh uh. Patrat. Oh my goodness. We're getting bodied right now. Absolutely bodied. So we're going to send out Basilisk. He's our highest level. 
and you've got and you know what we're gonna go for a wrap get that continuous damage off I know it's not gonna do much but get a little bit of continuous damage on this thing I'm not normally one to use moves like wrap or whirlpool but you know what we've got it so we might as well go ahead for a vine whip I did a good amount of damage actually That just did 12 points of damage, and that wasn't even a critical hit. We ha we have to heal. Because if he gets a crit, then we're dead. And I am not looking to lose Basilisk. Definitely not. He did 12 points of damage. This is another 12. It's not even a crit. Oh my goodness. You know what? We're just going to go for the Vine Whip. We are going to risk it to get the Biscuit. Unless we don't get the biscuit, in which case, we, that would really suck. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Lear? We outspeed. We outspeed. So we should be able to take this thing out without it being able to kill us. Okay. We outspeed. We outspeed. We outspeed. Yes. Okay. Woo! I was scared there for a minute. I, woo, man. Woo! All I have to say is woo. There we go. Get that. Get that yummy, yummy experience, Basilisk. Learn a new move. I know you just learned rap, but no one likes rap. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. That voice is getting to my whole voice. That that uh, older voice is getting to everything. Uh, we are definitely gonna head out of there and go heal up. And uh, we're we're nearing the 30 minute mark, so I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode here, and we will take on Charon in the next episode. Uh, hopefully, we don't get absolutely demolished uh, because I'm not going to grind again. So, so yeah, we're going to go ahead and take on Charon in the next episode. If you guys are hyped for some more Black Two Nuzlocke, be sure to smash those thumbs up down below and. Uh, Show some crazy love to that sub button, and I am going to get out of here, guys. Peace.